MATLAB! Hello. Now that we have a basic understanding of what the MATLAB environment looks like, I want to zoom out to look at the bigger picture of coding in general. MATLAB is called a programming language. What are languages used for? Communication. What do you need for communication? A speaker and a listener. In programming languages, you as the human coder are the speaker. Well, typically you are typing. And the software is the listener. The wonderful thing is that the software is a perfect listener. The code will accomplish what you command it to do. There are no emotions or stubbornness to deal with. But it will only respond if you speak in the software's language. You must use the correct syntax, which means the commands, operations, and variables you enter must be in the right order, spelled correctly, and properly defined. So who is to blame if something goes wrong? Not the computer. It is just doing what you tell it to do. This might feel like a lot of pressure on you as you are learning, but have no fear. There is not much cost to making a mistake. If you make a mistake, you are not hurting anything. Even better, you can learn from the mistake and fix it. MATLAB helps you with this by providing rather specific error messages. One example is shown here. In this case, I learned quickly that I need to have B defined in the workspace. When you see the red text, take advantage of it and read carefully. There are many, many programming languages out there. They range from hardware languages, which really is just electrical signals, to high-level languages. In fact, this graphic could extend even higher to include concepts like machine learning. MATLAB is a high-level programming language. This means that the commands are relatively close to human languages. For example, the SUM command does what you would expect. It adds a list of numbers. High-level languages are also machine-independent, which is why you are able to use MATLAB on your Mac or PC. A couple other examples of high-level languages are C, C++, Fortran, and Python. I like to call MATLAB programming with training wheels. It was designed for engineers and scientists, not for coders. It allows engineers to use powerful features relatively easily, letting them focus more on their actual field of study. This does not mean that MATLAB is gimmicky or useless to learn. You may end up doing most of your job work in MATLAB, or maybe you will primarily be using another programming language. Once you learn to code in one language, it makes it easier to pick up other languages. This is like a Spanish speaker trying to learn Italian. The new things to learn are mainly just syntax, but the underlying structure is almost the same. So the key is to learn to program, not just memorize commands. You want to be a problem solver that can break down a big problem into smaller chunks and then translate those chunks into lines of code. Focus on the logic and linear reasoning. Finally, be excited. You are embarking on a journey to learn an extremely valuable skill. Learning to code helps you become a better problem solver, analyze huge amounts of data, imagine and develop new ideas, understand the machines that help our world operate, and, of course, get a job. This animation here for wave analysis was made fairly simply by entering physics equations into MATLAB.